guys, I am back with Killing Mache. I'm doing the second part to um what's better, Black Ops 2 or multiplayer, or, or go Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So um now we're continuing with the zombies weapons. Um okay. Okay, um, now, um, when we leave off, um, like, we were talking about Mustangs and Sally's the last time, um, uh, okay, so, um, so, guys, our next pack punch weapon, um, will probably, we already mentioned the grill in the last video, so, yeah, um, but, a, a sort of good weapon, um, like, a weapon that gets better when you pack punch it is, um, Killing Machete. What do you think that would be a better weapon if you pack punch, when you pack punch it? The War Machine. Everybody hates the War Machine, but man, that thing is good whenever you pack punch it. It shoots straight bullets. It can still get, it gets you down and eats away like the uh, Mustang and Sally's the van. That thing is good whenever you pack a punch it. It sprays out horns easily. Okay, um, uh, and one honorable, uh, one thing else, um, the RPD and the hammer, they will absolutely be even better when you pack punch them, obviously. Okay, let's go to a few honorable mentions. Yeah, okay, you start. Okay, the first honorable mention, first honorable mention will most likely be the, um, it'll, it'll be the AK-47. It, it's good, it's, um, good, it's actually kind of good, you can only find it on three maps, um, Dara's Buried and, um, Dara's Buried and Transit, the soil of West Map. But the weapon is pretty good, it's a really good pack, rack and up point, it's really, it's really good for some, more, um, it, it does some pretty good damage. It's that, you go with the second honorable mention. Okay, so, and another one that I would like to point out that this comes from, like, Mob is Dead. Now, you can, like, I think you can get this weapon I buried also, um, the LSAT. Now, that thing is sort of like the hammer in RPG, but it's... It just is, like, kind of heavier, and you can also find it in multiplayer, but, man, um, uh, there's actually an achievement buried that you can get for pack-a-punching the LSAT, um, uh, so, it also gives you some points if you pack-a-punch it, so, yeah, and, on Mob of the Dead, I just got it from the box, whenever we play Mob of the Dead, we usually go on Grief, Starting on round ten and try and make it higher round. So, so yeah. Okay. We are. Um, that's the. And also, I, I got one more honorable mention before we end it. Before you can go on, I got one more honorable mention. You probably all know this weapon. Called the Death Machine. It can only be found on one map, which really sucks. Even though it was, one of, it was made for like the nineteen something. But that weapon is, a, is like a, it's like a killing machine. That weapon is like the most best weapon in the entire game. That weapon gets you through lots of things. It kills brutus like, it kills brutus almost instantly. But the weapon is just so powerful on different maps. Um, yeah, it's only found in Mob and Dad, <coughs> so. Um, basically we're gonna move on to Wonder Weapons or Supernatural Weapons. Uh, so, um, I'm going to start off with, um, basically, if you all played this map, um, where you, um, 
where Rick Tossin and all your old characters are. Well, I mean, I gotta go get me some more batteries. You continue to Okay. Okay, so you you guys all know this map. It's um you guys all know this map and uh you guys all know this map. It's called Origins and man, the the staff like you can get the um ice staff, the wind staff, the fire staff and you can get also the lightning staff. Now these um to get them upgraded or so called you can call it pack punch. Like you can't really pack punch them, you can only upgrade them, but I'm gonna say pack a punch or upgrade them. Uh it, you have to go through a lot of trouble to do that, but it, man, it's worth it when you get, depending on which staff is the best, I would probably have to say either get the ice staff upgrade or fire staff. So, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and turn the, I'll go ahead and turn mine a little good. Okay, the ice staff is just easy. The ice staff is the most easiest part to find. Okay, so Okay, so um you wanna take your um out the second one because this one you're the only one in this part that has the map. Oh, what is it? Oh, God, I was just wondering. So, John, yeah, what do I talk about? It? What do I talk about? What do you mean? What do I talk about it? it? The thing that you have to build and it's. Uh, I can't. Oh, okay. Like. So, okay, this is the best weapon so far that they, that they made a buildable. Besides, um, going to get, which it is called the Slipper Fire. The Slipper Fire is boss. You can sometimes make a Dyrrhaz and Spike the world's most best weapon, no, but then again, at the same time, the world's most worst weapon. Because that weapon can literally get you flat, it off the map. And everybody knows who has Dyrrhaz. Dyrrhaz is one of the most hardest maps in the Cold Duty history. That's why people, that's why they, that's why it's hard. So I'm um, greatly forward because you have to leap a bunch. Wait. Okay. So, that, w that map is hard. You have to jump from leap to leap. You have to jump from leg to leg over and over again until you get to the right place. That map is hard. Um, uh, so, basically, um, the third one, and, um, you kind of already mentioned it, Kieran would say, but, um, this one can be found on the Mother Dead only. So, um, if you've all played it, you absolutely know this weapon. You can pack a punch it too to make it even better. It is the Blunder Gat. Now, the Blunder Gat is absolutely one of the best weapons on Mother Dead. So, basically, what it does is it's a three round burst and you have one bullet per um reload every time you reload. Um so it actually really just it's actually two round burst if you don't you don't upgrade to the after that. Okay, so um uh Killer Mache just said the pack punch name and uh Killer Mache you wanna talk about the pack punch version? Yeah, the pack of punch version is really good. It's called the, um, okay, I really don't remember it because I'm really too focused right now. But uh, it's a very, it's really good. It's one of the most powerful weapons in games. It's like the world's best weapon. I don't even, I really wish they had put it on the other maps, but they really couldn't because I'm pretty sure that Rude has actually created that weapon. Okay, so, um, Basically, um, the final weapon, and we mentioned every wonder weapon on, on all the maps except for buried. Now, the wonder weapon on there 
is the paralyzer. And this paralyzer, you can get it from a mystery box, but the paralyzer, it's kind of good and bad, um, but like, basically, you can get the really high rounds with it. Barry is one of the most easiest maps in Call of Duty history um, to come. So, so it's really uh -huh. easy. Um, whenever you get done, let me talk about it, because anyway, I have to right now in Barry. Okay, so, uh, basically, um, you do have to let it recharge, but it's a pretty good weapon. Now, Kill Machete, we only have about two minutes, so, your turn. Okay, the Paralyzer is a very good weapon. You can fly around with it. Many people don't know how to fly with it, but it's pretty good. You can you can um get to how you can get to how rounds, get to how places. Plus you can actually easily just fly around the entire map avoiding every single zone being the way. Plus you can actually um if you ever need to, or if you get down, you can automatically if you get down and you need pistol guys, you can automatically just fly all the way back up there to get anything you need. That's the that's the most best thing about this. Um it's all but it doesn't the bad thing about it is it doesn't do anything to do with not a thing. Well, well, also, um, there, the other thing is, the, our last two wonder weapons, you know them, Joe was saying, it's exclusive to, um, when you purchase the Vengeance DLC, and you can get this weapon from the box on any map. It starts with an R, and, and, and with a Y, and then has a G, and then ends with the N. Killing Mache, what do you guess it is and talk about it? Yeah, I don't know G you talking about. R A Y space G U N. But I don't know what the word you're trying to say. Ray Gun! Oh. Talk about both versions. Bro, you hip, bro. I could, it was about to say it starts with an A and ends with a D. Oh, I meant to start, say it starts with a G and ends with an N. But, um, okay, so talk about the Ray Gun and the Ray Gun Mark II. Okay, the Ray Gun. The ray, gun mark, the ray gun is a pretty good weapon. It has flash damage. It's really, it's really bad. Just like the war machine. If you're stuck in a hard situation, it most likely will die. Unless you, you die. But it's, overall, it's pretty good. Now, the ray gun mark two, it's, it's, the same, it's like the same thing, but the difference is it's like a machine gun pistol. And also, it's, um, it actually is very on burst. And plus, it, um, it runs out of ammo twice as fast, but just, it just runs out of ammo too fast, so if you get it, I'd rather have a Ray Gun Mark 1 than a Ray Gun Mark 2. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, and we will be doing a question and answer video on um, that, cause, and we're going to have some either a Black Ops 2 Zombies gameplay in the background, or multiplayer, whatever Killer Machine decides. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.